O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, many up, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 287, Nasdaq's up 109, S&P's down 40. Gold, gold contract down $10.10, trading at 1933 an ounce. We have silver down 10 cents, $22.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude off buck $51, $81 flat. Notes and bonds, 10-year note, down six ticks, trading at a price point of 109.25, the 30-year down 18 at 120.04 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 19 ticks, trading 103.209. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is at trading at 145, and the British Pound is at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, let's go into the futures first. So you get into the futures, the bottom line, you know, right off the open out here today, they sold it down. You, the low of the day is 4458. Right now we're at 64. And I suspect, you know, bottom line is that it's probably going to go after this because it is a little high volume low. Uh, we get uh, 39,000 contracts down there. And the above one only is 24. So the pressure's still downtown, right, at that level. Now, that's in your futures. Now, watch this. If we go to the SPY, what you're going to see is that we're going to get about the same amount of volume that we had at the low on Friday. And the price at the low of Friday was 443.34. Well, we hit 443.47. We did 68 million, you're at 46, you know? So I suspect we're gonna do, we'll probably do around 60. You know, we'll see how this shakes out. I don't think that, I don't think it's gonna get saved on price, meaning that you're not gonna get down there, you're not gonna get a rejection of lower price. But here's the divergence. The divergence is if we, let's do the NQs. You go over to the NQs, you take a look at them. Intraday first. So you take a look at the NQs, and the way the NQs are set up, you know, it's telling me that, yeah, you know, same deal, meaning we're going to probably close at the lows, which is 107 versus the 152 that we're here now, okay, because the 107 had volume at uh, 30, 16,000 contracts. The pop of above is only 12, so the pressure's still down there, okay? That being said, if you take a look at the Qs, the Qs, you know, you can almost say is a, this is almost a sideways move. You're down two dollars and sixty-four cents, but you can see yesterday, you know, we did volume of forty-two, and you got up to a price point at the three seventy. You started off at three sixty-four. I don't see this thing going down to three sixty-four. I can see it going to three sixty-six fifty-three again, the low of today. But then you're just going to you know, basically have a uh, more sideways move. That's what this looks like. And what's holding this up, folks, okay, is the trading that was developed out here on June, 20, uh, June 9th, 10th, and 11th. You can see this quite clearly. I mean, there's some big numbers right in here. You know, you got one, two, three, four. You get four days with a lot of volume here. That's what's holding this thing up right there. Notes and bonds, whole different ball game, man. This is a whole different ball game. You get, you take a look at the note and bond market, and you know, right now we're at the highs of the year, literally as we're speaking, 4.217. Make sure of that. Let's go back a year. Oh no, the high of the year is 4.242. So we're not at the high of the year yet. We're going to be though. You know, this thing's not slowing down, man. They're selling this thing off. Uh, you know, your next stop, TY1. We did this yesterday. But 
important each and every day to take to keep following this up because bring this back because we break if we break this first level the next level down is pretty intense i'm going back 15 years but it's it's the low of last year that it's going after right now and the low of last year come on okay so you can see the low of last year was 109.10. Well, we hit 109.11 today, okay? That's telling me that we're actually going to get down as 104 or something, you know, because there's not, there's not a lot here. That's the case. That means, you know, lower price, higher rates. And then if we go over to the dollar, you know, the bottom line is that this dollar wants big numbers, man. You know, you had the wide price spread out here yesterday. You went back to the beginning of the wide price spread. You rejected lower price today at 102.18. You know, it's not a stretch to get up to this 104.690. And if that's what we get, you're going to get some turmoil happening ASAP. If we go to the crude market, the crude's already sniffing it out. The crude market, you know, bottom line came, back, came down fast and furious today, 278. The... You're at uh, 80, 98, anything inside 81, 44, you know, puts it in the lower range again. So we'll see whether they're just going to go up and down in that particular market. We go into the gold market, and, you know, gold looks to me like we have the 1904 coming at us. And the 1904, what that is, that's how we came off the bottom the last time, uh, going all the way back in February. That would be considered... Nice, you know, the bottom was 1885. The reason I'm going with the 1904 there, that's the strength, because what has happened is that you're coming into this with low volume. So when you come into it, the cool thing is when you, when you come into it with low volume, you know, bottom line, to keep destroying price, that's when you have a better probability that you're going to reject where the straight started, the strength started at that 1904 area. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down 292. We get the NASDAQ off 121, S&P's off 42. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.